My name is Dr. Kennan, and I am a psychiatrist working at an academic institution. Uh, my typical day is I arrive on the unit around 745 on an inpatient facility, and I will usually round for three to four hours with the medical students and residents, seeing patients, writing orders, um, and then sometime around lunchtime, I usually give a lecture and do that for the lunch hour, take a short break and go over and see patients then in an outpatient clinic where I watch or see patients for somewhere between 10 and 15 minute appointments up to an hour long appointments. Um, that's my typical day. In the inpatient setting, I see people that are often in crisis. Um, they can be there court ordered against their will and often suffering from severe mental illness or serious mental illness as defined by the state, such as schizophrenia, bipolar or psychosis, severe depression. Often they've become a danger to themselves or others. Um, I also then work in an outpatient setting where I see people that have either recovered from those acute stressors and are doing better, um, or maybe have um, something like a milder form of depression, anxiety that's under control. Um, I also see people that suffer from memory disorders, uh, eating disorders. Um, so I see a large spectrum of patients um, in a large variety of ways that they're getting treatment either through medications and sometimes complemented with therapy. I usually work around 50 to 55 hours a week, um, mostly Monday through Friday, probably once every somewhere between 8 to 12 weeks I'm on call and I come in on the weekends for somewhere between 4 to 6 hours. And my stress level is actually highly variable uh, depending on how the day is going. There's times where I am um, highly stressed trying to get everything done and we can deal with people that are having uh, emergencies and crisis. There's other days where my stress, uh, especially if people are doing fairly well, uh, can be more minimal and limited. In terms of training, uh, you can have a major in any bachelor's degree uh, that you get through college. You want to obviously have um, a strong foundation in the sciences, but people can go to medical school with a large degree of, or variety of different degrees, um, such as English, psychology, whatever you thoroughly enjoy. Going to school, you should get more A's than B's, um, and you'll have to apply through for medical school and take an MCAT, uh, a medical college admissions test, and do fairly well on that. Once you arrive in medical school, um, you'll go for medical school for four years. That's on top of your four years of bachelor's training. And at the end of that four years, you'll decide whether you want to go into psychiatry. Psychiatry is generally a four-year residency. However, it is variable depending on what field you would like to go into. Some go ahead and do child and adolescent, which can be a five-year combined program. Others do another fellowship depending if they have a special area that they're um, interested in. In terms of getting into medical school, that's often the most challenging part for uh, students. Uh, and they have to have demonstrated some academic uh, ability in their bachelor's classes and then they'll have to have taken uh, whatever their major is, certain classes such as organic chemistry, um, some form of microbiology, physics, these classes are the basic foundations um, for going into medical school. In regards to medical school, the first two years classically are um, basic science and you'll be in a classroom or in some type of lab setting. It's actually in the third year that students transition into the hospitals and start learning uh, the hands-on training of whatever field or specialty they're going into within medicine. The fourth year kind of refines that and gives them a chance to explore what specific fields they may be interested in. For those going into psychiatry, they often do some form of more intense training in their fourth year to solidify if they want to do that training. Once they enter psychiatry, psychiatry residency, as we spoke about, is four years. Uh, the psychiatry residency is something where it is hands-on training, service and education. In that sense, they often spend the nights at the hospital. Uh, they do everything um, just under the supervision of a more experienced psychiatrist. They may have trainings. They usually have training specifically in behavioral therapies, uh, psychotherapy, as well as become more familiar with psychopharmacology or the medications that we use within psychiatry. Um, these usually take place, this training takes place in an academic institution where they will have training both inpatient in the hospital as well as outpatient of patients that have been doing better and getting well and trying to maintain them on that. The best part of the job is the reward you get out of working with patients and their families. Um, the experience of seeing someone improve and get better is 
totally satisfying. Uh, the worst part of the job is that sometimes people don't get better and that we deal in a field where there are often, or not often, but sometimes tragic outcomes, suicide, homicides, or people that aren't getting better uh, despite your best efforts. So this can be both a rewarding experience as well as somewhat frustrating um, as you grasp with life's difficulties. Another kind of drawback for the field is dealing with insurance pressures or documentation issues, business aspects that you went into the psychiatry to help people and to work with people and now you're being asked to do all this documentation or charting or um, reimbursement issues that seem to distance yourself from what you enjoy doing is working with the patient. If I was giving you advice about what may give you a leg up or might help you in your journey and finding out if this is for you, what I'd recommend is getting some experience, whether it be taking psychology classes, abnormal psychology um, as an undergraduate, or if it is actually volunteering and working at a hospital where you may have some exposure as an aide on the floor, as a receptionist, something that you could get to see the sense of the population, the people, if you enjoy working with different personalities um, and people um, that are struggling with mental illness. My greatest bit of advice is do what you enjoy doing. Uh, if you enjoy working with people, you enjoy the challenges of schooling, um, especially you want to go to medical school to help people, um, do that. The thing that you have to you know, consider and weigh against is that this is going to be a long journey and that there's a lot of ways to make more money and make it faster, you have to really enjoy the work. If you're going into it because you like the prestige or you like the idea of doing something, um, but you don't actually enjoy the work day in and day out, uh, I would say you don't want to go into it. But if you do enjoy the opportunity, the challenges, go into it.